Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Matt with MSG's Treasures. Um, I was going to buy a couple of lockers, but they both got canceled. So there's a place nearby selling pallets of undeliverable mail um, for $600. The other day the guy said he had five or six left, so I'm going over there today and see what they got. Hey guys, so I couldn't get any pallets. They just had uh, not really good ones left, a lot of heavy furniture item stuff that was uh, returned to sender or undeliverable um, you really have to get to those places quick and I waited too long it wasn't really something I was looking for I just happened to cross it uh, so anyway I'm out in front of the Salvation Army right now I'm gonna go inside and see what I can find kind of a put together video spur of the moment I had planned on going to buy some pallets uh, of eBay and Amazon undeliverable mail pallets so it's a total surprise so yeah I didn't get any pallets and then I went to the Salvation Army, which you'll probably see, and they only only taking cash. So I didn't even think about thrifting until halfway home because I was on the other side of town and I am now. But anyway, there was quite a few uh, thrift stores I didn't go to just because I decided to do this. Like after I got to the Salvation Army, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to hit up thrift stores today. I don't have to ship because it's Tuesday and let's do this because I haven't thrifted like this in a long time because I have so much stuff. And Today is just not my day. Uh, they're not taking cards. They're only taking cash. Our machine's down. I don't carry cash. So let's go somewhere else, I guess. Hey guys, so I'm outside a local place. Um, it's in between my home and where I work. And I work like in homes like four minute drive. So I could literally stop here every day, but I don't. It's really hit or miss. I don't find anything more often than I do. Like some other thrift stores, I can find stuff a lot. I'm just gonna shut up. I don't find a lot of stuff in this one, that's why I don't stop all the time. I have found some good stuff in here before, but it's really hit or miss. So let's go in. You're not going in, they play music, but I'm going in and I'll show you what I got. All right guys, I got one thing. I was in there maybe 30 minutes. Um, I looked through jeans and t-shirts just because I couldn't find anything else, but I found this. It is a Kenyu Auto Winder VHS Rewinder. Um, these are selling for about $35 on eBay. Um, I need to look up the, the barcode on Amazon, but I don't have the seller app on my phone right now because that's how often I use it. I got a, this new phone in October, haven't used it. Um, but these potentially do really well on Amazon and I'm willing to FBA this if it's better than $35. I mean, it has to be much better, like 60 or 70 to be worth my effort because I don't use Amazon. Anyway, uh, that's all I found. Off to the next one. Hey guys, real quick, before we go any further, if you could really help me out and hit that subscribe button, it's free and it really helps the channel. It gets me motivated to do more videos when I see those numbers go up because that means you actually like to watch my content for some reason. Um, no, I'm just kidding, but there's a lot, I know there's a lot of reseller channels out there, so you know it means a lot if you hit that like button also and subscribe for me. So here we go for the rest of the haul. Hey guys, so I'm outside of Goodwill. I actually forgot to show you what I found at the last uh, thrift store. I got in a hurry, just forgot. Um, I don't usually find a lot in that place. They charge a lot for stuff, and it's like filled to the seams. It's like bursting at the seams with inventory in there, and they charge so much. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let me show you what I got. First off is this chrome toaster. So this is not a sunbeam, which is really what you want to find because those can go for a lot of money. Um, it's definitely vintage. You can tell by the plug and it's chrome and people love this stuff. Um, this is a Toastmaster and I can get anywhere between 30 and $40 for it if I do free shipping. Uh, the higher end so I usually do free shipping for everything it was a price tag of 14 bucks but they had 75% off all their kitchen stuff so I walked out the door with this for three and at least $35 so as long as it cleans up really good uh, it's it's really clean it's just the chrome needs a good um, Windex to it all right next up is a couple pairs of shoes uh, these are just sketchers and some sketchers can be worth decent money these are wide fit uh, and they're basically brand new. I paid $10 for them because, like I said, they don't even look like they've ever been worn. They still have the sticker on the bottom here. Just super clean. 
and they're 11 and a half. I wear 11, so if I can't sell them, I'll probably keep them for myself. Next up is a pair of Converse. Now these, um, I grabbed them. I haven't comped them yet, but they're brand new also, and they're steel toe, uh, tennis shoe style work boots shoes, I guess, uh, for ten dollars. I don't know. I don't know how much they're worth, but they're Converse and they're brand new. I can't sell them as new because the uh, piece down here is peeling off, and I just noticed this one is totally off. A little where it has the name. Uh, where they say they're oil resistant, so I don't know if I'm gonna leave that one on. I might take them both off. Who knows? Hey guys, so back from that Goodwill, I spent about 45 minutes in there. Uh, let me show you what I got. So I got picked up these Vans. Uh, I don't think these are worth a lot of money. They were 650. Um, I watched another YouTuber say that uh, Squid Games on Netflix made these shoes more popular, more expensive. Um, but the floral pattern, I don't think it, it is. Maybe $25 for these. Uh, not bad, though. But anyway. Another pair of Vans. These are checkered. Um, they're pretty dirty. Um, I'm going to start cleaning my shoes with this stuff called Awesome that I found other YouTubers using. That seems to work pretty good. From Dollar Tree. It's a, it's a dollar. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to give that a try and see if these clean up. I'm going to butcher this name, but these are Susoni, I think that's what you call them. They're Everruns um, ISO 2s. These are pretty decent. Um, I forgot what they were worth, but they're at least 35 to 45 bucks. And again, I paid $6.50 for them. All right, and next are these Nike Airs. All right, next up are these little uh, toddler. Now, these are probably too small for a toddler these baby little Jordans um, they were 450 um, what 20 bucks maybe what so why not oh, another pair of shoes so these are tied together that's why you're seeing two of them but they're New Balance uh, 680 version twos and they're in really good shape so they do need a little bit of cleaning but not much and then lastly is this thing right here um, it's Aquascape. It's an automatic dosing system for fountains. So basically, um, it just puts the amount of chemicals in the fountain, like for a pool, to keep it uh, clean, like chlorine, I guess. It looks brand new. The box is a little beat up. Um, only one sold in the last 90 days, but it's winter time, and I only saw a couple open box ones listed. Uh, there was new ones listed for 150 but I'm thinking I can get anywhere from 80 to 90 bucks for that. And that's a really good per pickup. Best one of the day so far, I think. Alright, only in South Carolina where it's 48 degrees can I wear a hoodie and be roasting and have the AC on at the same time with the window down. Alright guys, fifth stop of the day, another Goodwill. Let's see what I can find. All right guys, all done in that Goodwill. Let me show you what I got. And before I get started, it's 90% shoes. So if you're tired of shoes, I'm sorry, but uh, that's really the best things to find in my Goodwills, it seems, is shoes. So first off, it's the best pair, I believe. So I learned about this brand probably when I first started reselling like three years, four years ago, and I've never found a pair until today. Uh, some of these shoes can go for hundreds of dollars in this brand. I don't know if this one does. I didn't comp it. I just grabbed it. But they're Sergio Ferragamos. Um, they're in really good shape. And they're definitely legit. Because they have all the uh, ID numbers on them and stuff. I didn't comp these. Um, there is some wear on the bottom. But like you're supposed to feel if it's soft here. And it's not. So these are in good shape. Six dollars and fifty cents. All right, got some uh, interceptor combat boots with the zip up. These are about forty or fifty. Got these New Balance. Uh, no idea the price. I just saw they were unique, and New Balance is you know, a halfway decent brand. So uh, got a Bellinger weightlifting belt. Um, There's none like this listed, and only one sold for thirty-five dollars, and I paid three ninety-five for it. Another pair of shoes I didn't comp and they're Adidas. Um, I grabbed them without comping them just because it has the Adidas on the side there, really big, and they're in really good shape. 
Alright, these pair of Nikes, I guess they're called uh, Blazer or something, I'm not sure, but they're like canvas or like Levi material, I guess. And um, I looked at the style code, so they, these are real. Uh, these were hiding on a bottom shelf far as far away as the shoes as you can get behind a printer. I saw the back sticking out and I just picked them up. I did comp these. There's only two listed with no sales and the two that are listed were for 75 and the other pair was for 100. So I figure if I can list these for 50 or 60, they will sell. I picked up another pair of Nikes. These are Air Max. Um, I'm not sure the number. Like I said, I'm not an expert at shoes. I just know how to look them up and you don't need to be an expert for Nikes, you just look up Nikes. And I didn't look them up. I mean, they're youth shoes. I got them for 450. I don't think I can lose on these. Um, but I learned recently, recently you need to check the bubble down here, make sure they're not uh, popped and these ones are good. And these are really good shape um, for being youth shoes. They do need some cleaning, but 450, not bad. And then the last pair, we got a pair of New Balance All Terrains. So I didn't look these up either. Um, if I can get $30 for them, I'll be happy, but they're in really good shape. They do need some light cleaning and that's it. So, um, there I go saying, um, anyway, they're called a uh, Lono key, I think all terrain, new balance. And like I said, they're in good shape and they're 650. So, all right, next stop is right up the street at an Oliver gospel mission, uh, thrift store. I rarely find anything in this one either, but it's right up the street and it's on the way to the next Goodwill, so I always stop there in hopes I do find something. Alright, and here we are. Let's see what I can find, and as usual, I will show you when I get out of there. Alright, you may be wondering why the windshield wiper is going and it's totally sunny out today. It's broken and it stays on the minimum setting. So I'm so used to it by now. Right now, it's been doing this for like three months. I just keep forgetting to get it fixed. All right, guys, I actually found some stuff in here. Uh, I don't know if it's really any good. I did find another Wilson tennis racket. It's titanium, so I'm hoping it's another $25, $30 racket. I paid $4.50 for it. Um, got this backpack here. It's a Babolat, which is like one of the best brand names in, in tennis rackets. I, I don't know if they're in any other sports. I just know for tennis rackets, it's a really good brand name. I've actually sold some really expensive rackets. And then I got these figures. Um, they're Native American figures. They were in the glass case. And they're called the First Americans by Russ. They're all numbered on the bottom. Alright y'all. Last stop of the day. It's almost 5 o'clock. Took a little longer to get here because of traffic. But let's see what I got. And as always, I will show you when I get back to my truck. Hey guys, I just came out of that Goodwill. Been there for about 20 minutes. And you wouldn't believe what I found. Yep, yeah, more shoes. Uh, anyway, I did find some uh, a couple other things that aren't shoes. So I'll show you that in a second. But first, we got some Nike Zooms here. Actually in pretty good condition. 650. I think they're, I don't even know what size they are. Look like maybe a size 12. Next up are some Foot Joy golf shoes. They're pretty dirty, but that's pretty loose dirt. Um, the, the bottom soles here are actually pretty dirty too. But these are Arc SLs by Foot Joy. One of them does have a scuff in the front, but it's leather. I'm thinking a little black leather will touch that up. And I didn't comp them, but Foot Joy is a really good brand. And these are in really good condition, other being a little bit dirty. So. Like I said, I'm hoping for another 40, 50 maybe, if I'm lucky. We'll see. Right, I usually stick away from cleats, but these are actually, were in pretty good condition. They're Phantom CTs from Nike. Uh, this brand kind of surprised, not the brand, obviously it's Nike. Uh, but this style blew me away. I couldn't exactly find this colorway, but some of these cleats used were going for 70 plus. All right, so that's all the shoes. I briefly look over the media real quick and I found they had a bunch of Bibles and I like to sell Bibles because they do sell well. Um, unfortunately, they were all personalized. I don't remember what I paid for this. It's probably $1.50 for a paperback. All right, last thing. All right, last thing. This is for the PlayStation Move for Kilth. Duh. I, I know this game. I played this game a lot. 
Killzone 3. Um, it has the PlayStation logos on it. I remember seeing these, but these are legit. So a pair of these cells sold recently for 60 bucks. Um, and that's all I really looked at because there was three of them. I got three of these and they were $3.99 a piece and they were just put out yesterday. So at least they have a sticker from yesterday. They might've been put out today. Who knows? <sighs> but these were on the bottom shelf of all the toys. I'm kind of buried. And I was like, what's that? It looks familiar. Bam, got them. So this is awesome. I think these will sell fast. Um, I love finding video game stuff and I rarely do. So it's cool when I do. Hey guys, if you made it this far, that's awesome. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching the video and hopefully I'll get another one out soon. Uh, this was kind of, like I said, spur of the moment. I wasn't really planning on making this video today. I, I really would like to do a storage unit video, but um, I'm talking too much and it's the end of the video. There's probably two people listening right now. So anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.